Antarctic seafloor exposed, after 50 years of ice cover. German scientists have inspected an area of seafloor newly exposed by the calving of Mega Iceberg A74 and found it to be teeming with animals. It was a remarkable opportunity for the team as their ship, RV Polarstern, threaded the still narrow gap that exists between A74 and the Brunt Ice Shelf, which produced the giant berg. Research groups frequently try to probe waters below freshly calved ice shelves to better understand how these unique ecosystems operate. And when the weather calmed, the ship slipped in behind the berg to take a look at an area of seafloor that is now free of ice cover for the first time in five decades. Over five hours, the system collected almost 1,000 high-resolution images. In the images, numerous sessile animals can be seen attached to various small stones scattered liberally across the soft seafloor. The majority of these are filter-feeding organisms, presumably subsisting on fine material transported under the ice over these last decades. Some mobile fauna, such as holothurians, ophiuroids, various mollusks, as well as at least five species of fish, and two species of octopus were also observed. What they have found isn't shocking. But it is amazing to get these images so soon, after a calving event, and it is definitely the largest area, that will have been surveyed in this way. This food is produced by plankton, in the sunlit sea surface nearby, then dragged under the ice shelf, by the currents of the Weddell Sea. The Weddell Sea's eastern side, is interesting because it has not witnessed the warming effects that have been observed in its western sector, next to the Antarctic Peninsula. This situation may not last, however, with computer models suggesting there could be regular incursions of warm ocean water from the north by the century's end.